Hello everyone, um, today we'll be creating a Visual Studio, Visual Basic application. Basically it's, it's going to be a key logger with three main features. The first one of course is to log the entries, second one is to store them on a file, the third one is to email them. We're also going to look on how to add the uh, process the executable file to the registry this way always run when the program starts so uh, first of all let's uh, create a new project we'll call it keylogger windows form application okay okay now the form we want to make sure it's hidden so let's uh, go to the properties um, let's uh, the text basically no text let's uh, show the uh, minimized transparency uh, let's see what we have to change Showing taskbar false. We don't want to show the icon either. We want to uh, no boxes here. No minimize, maximize. Those stuff you don't need. Um, let's see locked location. Key preview false false. The uh, frame border none background oh that's the background image let's go to the name well let's just give it a name key logger um, let's um, I'm looking for the background color let's just do it white where is white ah, window window should be enough auto size I guess auto size false everything is false yeah it's basically it we just do it this way now if, let's just try to run it see you can see nothing here let's just now stop now let's go to the uh, coding part um, let's uh, go to the uh, actually we need to add three things here basically the timers this way we know when to okay we have three timer timer one timer two timer three timer one basically is the timer that actually gets the input uh, timer 2 it's going to okay it's gonna write to the file and timer 3 will basically be the one that actually emails us the information so let's uh, go to the uh, form public key uh, we need some stuff here. Imports. There are only three imports we need. The system.io. We need the uh, Microsoft. The 132. We need the the mail for the um, mailing. Let's uh, declare some uh, variables we need to use. Private there function get as let's get a capital a c y n k key state lib user 32 we have the by val value key 
three as integer as integer. This is the result which basically holds the information, the keylogger. We have the i, this will basically be using it as a counter. Let's uh, do the um, This is also another holder we need to use. Now these are the information where you want to store the um, file location. For me, I'm using Windows Vista, so the only place I could actually write from the program is the users directory public. Let's call the program KL Keylogger. Now we have the uh, executable location. This is basically where you're going to be putting the executable file. KL.execute. Now this is the uh, location of the registry key again this is the uh, my system startup folder this is the folder where the um, any programs that are on like here we have drive cure these are the programs that run automatically when the computer starts now we also need the registry key name that's basically the name it's gonna be in let's just do key L now that we have these uh, information that we need let's uh, go to the form load basically the uh, let's make sure that we have the correct form load okay let's go to the original Okay, this is the uh, load basically <coughs> when you lo we load the application we want to activate the uh, first timer we want to activate the second timer we want to activate the third timer and start the file writing We're gonna create a new file, which is the uh, have it the file location, and then file close. It's basically at the start of the program we create the file just to make sure it exists. Now we also going to create the registry key. Set val set value we're gonna call it the uh, registry key location and then the registry key name and the executable location this is the um, form load this is all we need now we just need to program the the timer tickers so uh, that's uh, the timer number one okay we have the timer one this basically reads the K 
keyboard input we make sure that we have the uh, what we store before the mistake okay now we have the uh, this basically the timer at the uh, anything that we type stores it into the type string now the uh, timer 2 will basically write the what we typed to the file that we have We're going to write the text to the file location and then we're going to write it the typed and the uh, third which basically appends to the file instead of escape uh, overwriting. And then let's just reset the... We reset the uh, typed so this way it doesn't duplicate the information. Now the the third timer the third timer basically will email us that file so timer 2.enable that falls we want to make sure we stop the uh, writing to the file this way no file we won't because when you upload the file to the uh, email it reads it so you want to make sure it doesn't you read it and the program is reading it and might cause some sort of problems now basically we just need to create an SMP, smtb client we i'm using right now a sample uh, gmail account you could basically use anything you want but i, th I find it easy to just use google this information you could basically get it from Google if you go to their account setup you could see all this information which port you need to use which now we need to send the credentials visual studio 2598 at gmail.com that's an email I created and the password is visual 2598 uh, that's just a test account I set up a dummy one so you can actually see how it works And now we let's create the